Hey, what's up guys? Josh here. I'm here with Coach KK and we're going to go over this week's density set workout. So we're going to have six stations and each station will have two exercises. You're going to go back and forth for a certain number of reps. You have 90 seconds at each station. We're going to rotate around the room twice today. You ready, KK? Ready. Okay, so over here on the boxes, we're going to start with our power step up. So we're exploding up and over on that box, nice and controlled on the landing. Think about trying to get as high up off that box as you can on each jump using those arms as well. You're going to do five on each side here. If you need to take the impact out, you just step side to side. After you get those five reps on each side, you're going to come over, grab a ball, and we're going to do our pro step wall ball slam. So two hops and then throw that ball. So two hops, one, two, then really use that momentum, shift through that hip, throw that ball. If you start close enough, you'll be able to catch the ball off the wall. You can also just let it drop to the floor. You're going to do five on one side, then you're going to do five on the other, and then you're back over to the power step ups here. From there, we're going to rotate over to our suspension trainers, and we're going to be doing our eccentric drag curls. So, what you're going to do here is you're going to, just like a traditional curl on the suspension trainer, get those, those hands up to your shoulders, and then you're going to pull those hands down your torso here, then lower yourself back down. Again, elbows stay high, curl. And now, like you're ripping your shirt off, you're gonna pull those hands down your torso, walling up those abs, and then lower yourself down. Show them one more, Katie. She's gonna pull up, and now as she's going down, she's using her upper back here and her core to keep her stabilized, and then back down here. You're gonna do five of those, and then we're gonna go into our triple squat jumps. So, you're gonna go lunge jump, lunge jump, and then squat jump here, using those suspension trainers for support here. So again, lunge jump, lunge jump, squat jump. If you need to take the impact out, of course, you just go lunge, lunge, squat here. You're gonna do five of those. So lunge, lunge, squat is one. You're gonna do five of those. Then you're back to that eccentric drag curl. From there, we're gonna come out to the blue floor, and we're gonna be doing our army crawl. So, you're gonna get your feet on those sliders, wall up those abs nice and tight. Notice how Katie's trying to keep her hips nice and still. She's reaching with those forearms here and pulling herself forward. If you want to, you can also do our slider crawl where you put your hands on the sliders and then drive with those legs. When you get down to the end of the floor here, you're gonna go over to your back, you're gonna put your feet on the sides, we're gonna do some slider glute bridges. So you're gonna pull your feet in, drive those hips up. Notice how KK's got her elbows bent here. She's driving those arms to the floor, it's gonna make her a little bit stronger here. You can pull in, hips up, hips down, feet out, that's one. You can also challenge yourself by keeping those hips up the entire time, pulling in and then driving up. Remember, really squeezing those glutes nice and tight as you drive up. You're thinking apples, not applesauce with those glutes here. And if you really want to challenge yourself, you'll pull in and drive at the same time. So this would be our power slider curl here. Drive those hips up. You're going to do five. Then you're going to turn around and you're going to army crawl or slider crawl all the way back down to the other, other end of the floor. From there, we're rotating over to our kettlebell station. We're going to be doing some kettlebell cleans here today. So arch that lower back, yank that kettlebell up, catch it at your chest here, get those elbows in tight, squeeze those glutes. Pause at the top, KK. So at the top, KK's elbows are in, her quads are tight, she's pulling her kneecaps up towards hips, and her glutes are squeezed nice and tight. I could punch her glute right now, but I don't want to because it would break, break your my hand. hand. Okay, we're doing five of those, and then we're going into our dead stop push ups here. So for the dead stop push up, this is really challenging here. You're gonna go down nice and controlled, squeeze those shoulder blades, get your hands all the way to the floor, then lift those hands up off the floor, and then re-engage and press back up. Again, down nice and controlled, chest all the way to the floor, hands up off the floor, and then pressing from that dead stop. You can also go down from your toes, lift those hands, and then press from your knees here, of course. Again, down from the toes, lift those hands, press back up from those knees, or you can work from your knees here and challenge yourself. We'll also have room on the edge of the blue floor if you want to work from your knees on that side of the blue floor. Okay, we're doing five of those, then we're back to those cleans. From there, we're gonna head over to our skiers. And now, we're switching those. Typically, we do about 10 reps on the skiers. Today, we're gonna do five hard reps. So, soft bend in those elbows, sit that butt back, start with those hips, use that body weight momentum to pull those handles down and reach back as far as you can. 
think power, not speed here. We're gonna get five good reps in, then you're gonna turn around, we're gonna have some sandbags here, and you're gonna arch that lower back, and you're gonna clean that sandbag up to, or excuse me, you're gonna clean up to your chest, and then you're gonna squat, so you're gonna do five sandbag squats. And then back to the skier. So five on the skier, five on the back, five squats on the bag, back and forth. And then we're on to our last station. Here we go. Over here on the dumbbells, we're doing our power curl and press. So dumbbells outside those thighs, you're gonna use those hips to get that dumbbell up to your shoulders. Let's slow it down and break it down. So first we do that power curl to the shoulders, and then we're gonna press back up. Again, so now Katie's gonna go full speed. She's gonna sit those hips back, drive on up, and then press on up. So we're using those hips to get the bag, the dumbbells up to the shoulders, and then we're pressing from the shoulders. You're gonna do five power curl presses, and then you're gonna go down to the blue floor or the edge of the black floor, however you wanna do it here. We're gonna go into our renegade row. So push up position, squeeze those glutes tight, and then you're gonna pull one arm up at a time, squeezing that shoulder blade. You wanna get a nice rotation here as well, pulling as far as you can as you pull up. Now, if you want to, you can alternate hands. If this is hard on your hand, you can also put one hand on the floor and then squeeze that shoulder weight, do it five on one side, then five on the other, and then you're coming back up to that power clean and press. You can also go from your knees here if you'd like, squeezing those shoulder weights, same movement there. Okay, that's our density sets for this week. Great job, okay guys.